Okay, hello everyone. This is Big Dan with Southern Extreme Podcast. Just wanted to hop on. We're going to talk about Louisiana Tech softball and Conference USA today. Um, today is Wednesday, March 13th. Um, we're coming into this weekend's conference play. Um, last weekend, Tech swept Sam Houston. So they are 3-0 and in the conference. They lead the conference right now. Uh, UTEP, Western Kentucky, and Liberty are at 2-1. and one. Middle Tennessee State, New Mexico State, and Florida International are 1-2. and two. And then Sam Houston, of course, is 0-3. And, and Jacksonville State, they played. They didn't have a conference game, so they're still 0-0 in the conference. Um, so coming into this weekend, Tech still is, uh, ahead in the ERA as far as pitching. They're doing an awesome job pitching. Um, they have a 1.65 ERA coming into this weekend. Uh, second is Western Kentucky at a 2.22 ERA. UTEP is third with a 2.95, Middle Tennessee State, excuse me, I'm sorry, <clears throat> Florida International is fourth, 3.45, and then Middle Tennessee State is fifth with a 3.55 ERA. Sixth is New Mexico with 3.97. Liberty is seventh with a 4.14 ERA. Eighth is Sam Houston with a 4.5 ERA. And ninth is Jacksonville State with a 4.54 ERA coming into this weekend. Now, our 300 hitters have kind of fallen a little bit <clears throat> after we entered conference play. Tech has four players batting 300 or above. Um, <clears throat> now, Western Kentucky, they have the most. They have six players still batting 300 or above. UTEP has five players. Middle Tennessee State has five players, batting 300 or above. And then we got Florida International and Jacksonville State, four players. New Mexico has three. Sam Houston has two. And Liberty has one. Um, so <clears throat> with that said, we got some for Tech. We have um, young lady Alexis Gilio. She's a junior outfielder. She's batting 459. Now she is 29th in the nation with that batting average. Um, and then Tech also has Caroline Esom. She's a senior infielder. She's batting 450. And she's 43rd in the nation with that batting average. So those two young ladies are doing awesome. Props to them. Um, continue the hard work. And then uh, in the conference, uh, Western Kentucky, they have a young lady named Morgan Sharp. She's a freshman infielder. She's batting 500. She's fourth in the nation. So she's doing good also. Um <laughs> <clears throat> now, nationally, Tech is 18th in the nation with the 1.65 uh, ERA. And then Western Kentucky is 40th in the nation with their 2.22 ERA. Um, now, uh, Western Kentucky is 32nd in the nation with a 322 batting average for the team. And then UTEP is 46th in the nation with a 313 batting average. Uh, on base percentage, uh, we have Western Kentucky is 27th in the nation with a 408 on base percentage. And then Tech is 38th in the nation with a 398 on base percentage. So, um, you know, coming into this weekend should should be a, a, another good uh, matchup for everybody. Um, 
Tech's doing real good. Uh, they're 17 and four, three and zero in the conference coming into this weekend. So they they got a little <clears throat> stronghold as far as uh, if they can continue playing well. They getting some good timely hitting. Uh, last night they just beat Northwestern uh, State with a uh, walk off hit in the bottom of the seventh. Um, so they won that game two to one. So Tech's doing doing great. The coaching staff's doing great, and the pitching staff is just phenomenal. Um, they're doing awesome so far. So props to them. Hope they continue the the great great work that they're doing. And um, appreciate y'all listening. If you would like and subscribe, uh, I'll be back next week to give you an update on Louisiana Tech softball and Conference USA. Thank you. Bye-bye.